Over 300,000 years ago, in what is now Western Germany a group of prehistoric humans slaughtered a herd of animals using sharpened spears. This is the oldest direct evidence of spear use ever found. The Schoningen spears are a set of 10 wooden weapons from the Paleolithic age, that were excavated in a mine in Schoningen, Germany. They were found together with animal bones and stone and bone tools. The age of the spears, originally assessed as being between 380,000 and 400,000 years old, was estimated from their stratigraphic position, sandwiched between deposits of glaciations, and situated within a well-studded sedimentary sequence. Then, thermoluminescence dating of heated flints in a deposit beneath the layer which contained the spears date the spears to between 337,000 and 300,000 years old. This places them at the end of the interglacial marine isotope stage 9 climactic period. To date, no hominin remains have been discovered from the Schoning and Pleistocene deposits, and therefore the species that crafted and used the wooden weapons and other tools at Schoning and remains uncertain. The most likely candidates are Homo heidelbergensis or early Neanderthals. The Steinheim skull, which has a controversial classification, dates to around the same era, and was found around 500 kilometers to the south. The spears also provide clear evidence of the importance of wood as a material for Paleolithic tools, and also further support the practice of group hunting by Middle Pleistocene humans. Hunting large animals was a risky business. Long spears were thrust into an animal enabling our ancestors to hunt from a somewhat safer distance than was possible with earlier weapons. Three wooden spears were found, along with stone tools and the butchered remains of more than ten horses. These spears are currently the oldest known wooden artifacts in the world. Radiocarbon dating has confirmed that the three wooden spears are the oldest complete hunting weapons ever found. The 6 to 7.5 foot javelins were found in soil, whose acids had been neutralized by a high concentration of chalk near the coal pit. They proved that early man was a successful hunter, and was not just a scavenger. The development of these weapons was crucial to the settling of Stone Age Northern Europe, whose cold climate and short daylight hours limited hunting. The spears show design and construction skills previously attributed only to modern humans. They may be simple weapons, but they are really high-tech for the time. The Schoningen discovery was important because it proves that spears were being made in large quantities. The fact that early man hunted big game is supported by many new discoveries around the world. Nonetheless, archaeologists still haven't determined whether early man hunted in large groups, or whether they used pits to trap the animals first. Thousands of pieces of horse, elephant, and deer bone were also found at Schoningen. The bones showed cut marks from stone flints, found with grooved wooden tools that probably held the flints. If archaeologists can prove the flints were hafted in the wooden tools, they will be the oldest known composite tools in the world. Most of the spears were made using trunks of slow-growing spruce trees, except for spear 6, which is made from pine. The spears vary in length from 6 feet to over 8 feet in length with diameters between 1 to 2 inches. The wooden finds were exposed to sedimentary pressure, and there are varying degrees of deformation, accounting for their curved shapes. The spears were debarked and have evidence of working traces at both ends, demonstrating that they were shaped to be double-pointed. One exception is spear 6, which does not appear to taper at the back. The points of the spears made use of the bases of trees, which is harder wood while the soft inner pith is offset from the tip. These features suggest an awareness of the properties of wood, and they were designed in such a way as to maximize the hardness of wood. Like today's throwing javelins, the greatest diameter and therefore likely the center of gravity is located in the front third of the shaft of at least some of the spears. In addition, most of the spears taper at both the front and the back, which may assist flight aerodynamics. This led many to suggest that they may have been designed as throwing spears, similar to a modern javelin. Experimental research, using experienced athletes to throw replicas of spear 2, show that the spears are capable of being thrown at distances of at least 15 to 20 meters, and are similar in weight and balance to javelins. 
but spear 6, which does not taper at the back and also has a natural kink, is interpreted as a thrusting spear, and replicas of spear 2 have also been experimentally tested as thrusting spears. In ancient cultures, wooden spears were used as both thrusting and throwing spears. Together the evidence suggests that the shonen and spears most likely had multiple uses including for self-defense against dangerous predators such as saber-toothed cats, with whom the humans shared the landscape. The majority of animal bones with signs of butchery belong to an extinct species of horse. Also present are red deer and large bovids. Marks on the bones suggest that the humans had first access to the carcasses, and that carnivores such as wolves and saber-toothed cats accessed the bones later. Marks from stone tools suggest that humans work together to butcher their prey. Bone tools have also been discovered in the same layers, and are suggested to have been used for napping flint and for breaking open other bones for marrow. The spears and the place of discovery revolutionized the picture of the development of early humans. Previously, Middle Pleistocene hominins, whether Homo heidelbergensis or early Neanderthals, were regarded as simple beings without language, who acquired meat by scavenging other carnivore kills or natural deaths. The spears and their correlated finds are evidence of complex technological skills and are the first direct evidence that these humans hunted their prey. Indeed, the analysis of 210 stone tools from South Africa shows that people were probably hunting with stone-tipped spears by at least 460,000 years ago, over 200,000 years earlier than previously believed. This study confirmed that the tools had broken in ways similar to other stone spear points, that have been thrust or thrown into the bodies of animals. In addition, 23 of the tools appear to have been thinned at their bases, to make them easier to attach to the shaft of a spear. To test their interpretation, the archaeologists made 32 replicas of the tools hafted them to wooden dowels, and fired them into springbok carcasses using a crossbow that allowed for precise control of force. The replica spear points were damaged in ways similar to their ancient counterparts. The early date for the tools also suggests that the first stone-tipped spears were used by Homo erectus, the species of human that was the ancestor of both Neanderthals and modern humans. In fact, Homo erectus had the same throwing ability as modern humans, and throwing may have been a primary driver in early human evolution. The large and swift prey that the Shonen and humans butchered suggests that their technologies and hunting strategies were sophisticated, that they had complex social structures, and had developed some form of language ability. The Shonen and humans therefore likely had cognitive skills such as anticipatory planning, thinking, and acting, which had only previously been attributed to modern humans. In addition, the spears have played a major role in debates about the origins of throwing, which likely originated with rock throwing over 2 million years ago, 